to be honest, is really strange. Uh, but you know, it's, it's, it's best to be safe than sorry <laughs> at the end of the day. And I think uh, for, for the safety of others and for the safety of ourselves and for our family, I think it's best to be inside. And uh, this, you know, COVID-19, uh, COVID uh, coronavirus, whatever it's called, it's it's something that is unprecedented. Uh, we didn't expect it, no one expected, but uh, at the end of the day, safety comes first. That's That's the most important part. At 8 p.m., we all go outside of the window, not outside, actually, look through the window or the balcony and, you know, give a round of applause to the healthcare uh, people, the doctors, the nurses, the practitioners that are taking time off their day to help those that are in need and those that are in the hospital. And I think it's a really good, really good thing because it gives them encouragement. You know, they're out there working for us while we are indoor trying to prevent more work for them. It's just, it's just, we miss it, man. You can see a lot of guys are not used to being this idle. A lot of guys are not used to being this, you know, free during, during this time of the year. This during the time of year is when you really, really locking in and trying to get ready for playoffs and trying to get ready for like, you know, the winding end, end of the season and go, go hard pretty much. So it's, it's tough. It's tough to be honest. <laughs> We're trying to like mimic some type of workout in house, running around. I'm, like myself, I'm running around with my little one, running around the house, doing dance moves just to keep my legs active, doing sit ups, push ups, stretching. We started watching yoga today, and she's like, What is this? You know? <laughs> but um, yo, you can never be cold turkey. You can never just go sit and not do anything if you're a professional athlete because your mind race, you're like, I don't want to get out of shape. I don't want to be behind so you start doing all this little stuff that just out of the blue comes to your mind you're like okay i need to do push-ups i need to do sit-ups i need to do squats and all this stuff the more the most important thing really for me is being able to teach my two nearly two, almost two-year-old daughter uh my language yoruba you know a nigerian dialect i've been we've been trying to work as hard as it can and this time being home has been really, really good for her. You know, seeing me at home every day and just the little things like that has been like my key focus, you know, trying to speak my dialect to her constantly. Uh, I've, I've been playing a lot of video games, you know, playing online with my friends from the, you know, my friends from high school, university, you know, my cousins from, you know, all over the world that we don't get the chance because we're on different time zones. This last few years, I've been into more investing books and uh, a little bit of more of physical therapy, physical training books. I don't know, maybe that's where my my my, my mind is going towards uh, towards uh, my end of my career here. I don't know, but uh, I've been doing doing a lot of researching type of books, not more like not novelty books, not entertaining books, but more just researching type of books. So trying to. Uh, empowerment and betterment of my future I think more of that and uh, it's been interesting being able to do that you know I just want to encourage everyone to first of all be safe for the safety of others stay indoors as much as you can but you know for the EuroLeague fans we do miss you as much as you miss EuroLeague you miss, as much as you miss our games we miss the fans we can't do anything without the fans to be honest because we play for the fans for the most part. We play for our family, but for the most part, we play for the enjoyment of the fans, to inspire others to come watch us play, the young ones, you know, to see that maybe they can do this one day. And, you know, for the Basconia fans, man, I, I really wish we can do more. I really wish we can continue to, you know, encourage the practitioners, the nurses, and as they're trying to help us. But uh, basketball will come back.